Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will be talking about what are the major red flags that you must be avoiding in the coding interview. So these are something that if it happens can instantly ruin your interview and you might not clear it. So let's discuss them one by one. First thing is not clarifying the question and input requirement. So here's the scenario, like you enter the interview, the interviewer will either copy the question into a sandbox such as coder pad or they will verbally like read you the question. So your first task is to read out the question again, read it out loud so that you and the interviewer are in the same page. So because if you read out loud, if you have not understood the question correctly, the interviewer can at least correct you in the beginning itself. But if you don't understand the requirement of the question, then later on, even if you solve something, that, that won't be the requirement because the question was asking something else. So the first red flag is not understanding the question. And the sub part of this is the input requirement. Let's say you are given an array of integers. So you will assume, okay, the question assumes it's an array of integers and you'll write the code. But later on the interviewer can tell, oh, but I was thinking that you will handle array of floating point as well. And you might handle like negative integers, you might handle, uh, let's say you can, you should also be able to handle strings. So initially only you need to clarify the requirements so like what is the type of the input like what all types are allowed is it only integers can there be floating point can it be strings care whatever is it you need to clarify it in the very beginning so let's say you did this correctly you understood the question and you also clarified the input requirements now if you straight up straight away go and start typing the code then that is again a red flag because once you understand the question and the input requirement you are supposed to like tell your approach to the interviewer like how would you solve it in a brute force manner and what types of optimization will you perform on it and once you and the interviewer are on the same page only then you should start attempting the question if you just understand the question and straight up jump into the code, it's again a red flag. Okay, now let's say you did this also correctly. You understood the question, you understood the requirement. You also like explained your approach to the interviewer. Now you are writing the code. You know the code exactly what you have to do. Everything is fine. Now you are writing it, but you are fully silent. Like you are not uh, telling anything. You're not explaining anything. You're just like silent. You are just, your head is bent down and you're just writing the code. And this is again a red flag because you, in your head, it's clear like what you're going to implement, but the interviewer doesn't know this. Like he knows what approach you're going to follow, but you, you still have to, while you're implementing it, tell him like line by line, what you're doing. So you should tell him like, yeah, in this part of the code, I'm writing a nested for loop. So this is how I'm going to traverse the array. And this is the, this function is doing this logic. So you need to like explain them like what each thing that you are typing out is doing. So that's one other red flag. Now let's say like you did all of this correctly. You also explained the code while writing it. Then the interviewer at the very beginning would have given you like one or two input cases. You tested your code on that and you are like, yeah, it's all done. Uh, it's working. But unfortunately that's not yet done because that is also a red flag because they might have only given you two inputs. It's your responsibility to write more input cases and mainly like write more edge cases and, and try to write more examples of different variants and test the code. Because this is what the interviewer is expecting you to do. They, they, they're trying to check 
whether you will test the code extensively whether you will take more examples or not so you are supposed to do all of this once you do all of this then most probably that your interview went well because later on if it is a live coding environment you can compile the code and see whether it's running properly whether all the test cases are giving the right input if it is giving then you already know that your interview went well if not uh, if it is some companies don't have like whiteboarding kind of interview they don't really have a code sandbox in that case it's up to the interviewer he will evaluate like based on uh, how you wrote the code whether it is correct or not and also one other thing which is important in the coding interview is while you are naming the variables when you are naming the functions they should make sense when you are practicing it's fine if you are naming it a b c whatever but in the interview setting the variable name should have some meaning like if you are naming a temporary variable name it temp don't name it z y whatever that they are not able to understand what it is doing and the function name also like if the function is finding a sum of the number name it as sum it should be it should like reflect what the function is doing so this is also one of the critical points now a last uh, one more thing that i want to tell is this is not regarding any red flag or something sometimes even though you are well prepared the interviewer what the way he is communicating you might not understand because of the accent or because the way they are speaking or whatever it is even though you are doing everything correctly because they are not communicating well uh, you are not able to like approach it pro- properly and uh, you might face issues so in this case the best you could do is ask them to like repeat it and uh, try to like make notes like try to type it down whatever they are telling and ask them is this what you mean um so that both of you are in the right page and the same page uh, if not uh, if you are not understanding the interviewer correctly the best thing to do is to write it down and ask them is this what you mean because you don't want to lose that interview just because you are not able to properly understand what the interviewer is telling i totally understand that it might be the interviewer's fault that they are not communicating properly but it's still your responsibility to make sure that you uh, clarify whatever they are telling and make sure you completely understand the question and solve it so yeah that's it for today's guys and if you feel like uh, you have faced any red flags that instantly made you fail the interview put it down in the comment and if you like this content uh, like and subscribe thank you